Welcome to the best incorporated soldering tip of the day. Your instructor for this procedure is Norman Meir, Master IPC Trainer. Today's subject is the soldering of a wire to a bifurcated terminal. To complete this procedure you will need a length of tinned wire, a soldering iron, needle nose pliers, an orange wood stick, flux, and solder. Begin this procedure by cleaning the area with isopropyl alcohol and a stiff bristled brush. Dry the area using a lint-free cloth. The correct positioning of the wire is between the terminal posts. To make the proper bend, use a needle nose pliers and grasp the wire at approximately the point of the bend. Use your finger, supporting the wire and the pliers, to bend the wire to approximately 90 degrees. Check the positioning of the wire. You can use another length of wire to ensure one wire diameter clearance between the solder terminal and the insulation. Trim off any excess wire. To ensure full contact of the wire on at least two sides of the terminal post, you can use an orange wood stick to reform the wire. Add a drop of flux to the assembly. Since liquid transfers heat better than solid, create a liquid heat bridge with the solder from the soldering iron to the terminal and the wire. Apply the solder on the opposite side from where the iron is touching the assembly. Allow sufficient time for the assembly to cool before moving any part of the assembly. Clean the assembly with a stiff bristled brush and isopropyl alcohol. Dry the area with a lint-free cloth. Inspect the assembly according to IPCA 610. You should have contact with at least one corner and two sides of the terminal post. You should still be able to see the outline of the wire in the solder joint. This procedure is now complete. Please visit our website at www.solder.net for training scheduling or more solder tips of the day.